Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 7 of Skilling to Glory. In the previous episode, we managed to complete the final objectives with the Botaka skill squad, and uh, that means we are going to be moving on to the next 5 star skiller, which is Gary Mackay Steven. Now, in case you missed out any of the previous episodes, uh, especially the last one, be sure to check out the cards in the top right hand corner or the playlist in the description down below. And also while you're at it, make sure to subscribe if you have not already, hit the notification bell and make sure to hit the like button, it would be very much appreciated. So like I've said, Gary Mackay Steven is the, the, the player we're gonna be building a team around in this episode and also play some games with. Now uh, moving on to the objectives. Uh, first one is score three goals with Mackay Steven. Second one is score three skill goals. Uh, the third objective we have to complete is called Chip Life. Um, where we basically have to score a chip shot. I'm not too sure if they work really well this year, so decide to give it a go. And we also have fancy assist. Uh, this can be a Rabona cross, a back heel cross where we like flick it up and uh, cross the ball in, or a back heel pass or anything. It just has to be something which uh, which is fancy basically. So moving on to the squad, I decide to go with the uh, four, two, three, one formation. A formation that a lot of people seem to really like this year. Um, I've always seen it as a very defensive formation, so yeah, I'm curious to see how we'll play with this skill squad. Um, in terms of defense, um, we got two players from uh, Bayer Leverkusen, and I think the right back Weiser has four star skills. Now a lot of wing backs uh, this year do have four star skills, but he is one of the old school players who used to have four star skills, so I decided to give him a go. Uh, as the other defender, we have Ta, I think, from uh, Leverkusen. Other defender, we have Rudiger from Chelsea. Still looks very, very decent with some uh, with some great stats. Uh, goalkeeper uh, who, got a who gets a strong link with uh, Rudiger is actually Kepa from uh, Chelsea as well. Um, left back, we have Andrew Robertson. A very decent left back as well. Probably the, one of the better ones in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, in FIFA, that is. I'm not too sure if he's really good in real life as well. But um, yeah, great stats. 87 stamina, which is uh, very nice as well. And uh, he obviously does link up nicely with the Gary Mackay Steven. Um, CDM, we have Javier Marcherano, who now also plays in the Chinese Super League. Um, Stats-wise, he looks pretty decent with a great standing tackle, slide tackle. And uh, yeah, other stats are, are normal, I guess, for, uh, for a player like him. He's not the, not the tallest, so winning headers will be a thing. But um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll still uh, do an all right job with him, basically. Next up to him. We have more of a defensive uh, or a, a pace here CDM, I was going to say. Uh, this guy, uh, Shinny or Shiny, not too sure how you pronounce his name, but um, he looks like a bit of a hitter. Gem, 80 pace, 71 defending, 79 physical as well, with 94 stamina. And the coolest thing is that he gets a perfect link to Mikai Stevens, so very nice way to uh, link, uh, link him up. But um, this guy looks very good. Uh, moving along, we have Hulk, who obviously got that in form. Uh, I was thinking of maybe... Uh, yeah, like putting his inform in this squad or something, but to me, he's just way too expensive. He definitely will drop soon. But um, yeah, I decided to give this version of Hulk a go to see uh, how, he, uh, how he plays. Obviously, 92 strength will uh, definitely be uh, something we, uh, we can use in-game. And uh, his 86 shooting as well will definitely be something we hopefully get to try out. Still four-star skills, wish he had five stars. Uh, moving on to the main player of the squad, Gary Mackay, Steven, five-star skills. Yet again this year, very happy to see it. And uh, he has 85 pace, 74 dribbling, 62 shooting, and 62 passing as well. And uh, also 90 agility, which is pretty decent, and uh, 82, uh, 82 balance. So I'm um, looking forward to play with him, as I actually haven't used him at all. So um, yeah, this will be, uh, for me, the first time playing with him, basically. So uh, looking forward to, uh, to try him out. I think I picked him up for like 600 coins. Uh, as the cam, we have a very old school skiller, or at least... Um, Back in the day, like FIFA 11 and stuff, when he had five stars. Uh, Ezekiel Lavetsi also plays in China right now, and uh, he still has very good stats. I think by default he is a center forward, but I decided to uh, use him as a cam, because as a cam he has amazing stats. 84 pace, 83 dribbling is very good, and a 79 shooting and 78 passing is not too bad either. His stamina is on the low side, so like at the beginning of the second half he'll probably be sort of dead, but um, yeah, hopefully we... Uh, we get to score some goals with him. And as a striker, I decided to go with uh, Alex Teixeira. Um, last time I went with Pato, where I also could have gone with this guy and decided to uh, to try this guy out. 
Uh, also could have gone with Pato again, but um, yeah, Alex Teixeira looks uh, looks amazing as well. 91 pace, 82 dribbling, 76 shooting and 73 passing, which is not too bad. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. He is uh, definitely the definition of a cheap beast as he doesn't go for much either. But um, that is pretty much the team. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Um, I will also leave a link to it in the description down below so you can uh, check it out on Fudat if you like to. But anyway, starting off um, this episode with the first game, we can't like Against a uh, Premier League side in the 4-3-2-1 formation. Now we had two very uh, good wingers in uh, Bernard, very pacey, and obviously Shakiri, new five-star skiller, and as a striker he had Giroud. Seems that a lot of people tend to use kind of slow but also tall uh, strikers uh, since heading in this year's game. It's just like in FIFA 14. It's uh, it's so overpowered. Whenever you cross the ball in, it's pretty much always a goal because. Your defenders just don't, don't seem to uh, to have the ball away for some reason. But um, yeah, in this game we did uh, start off with some uh, great uh, great runs. Fortunately, the finishing wasn't there to um, to find the back of the net. Also, after this corner, we got a chance with uh, yet again Levetsi. He was actually playing really well in this game. Uh, here we made good use of the fake shot there, La Croqueta to a roulette. Then I thought this was going to be a goal. Went wide, unfortunately, not even uh, hit the target. Then uh, straight down the middle, he played a pass there with uh, Shiru to Kaita was completely free, none of my players uh, marked him and uh, went through, made it 1-0. Uh, then still in the first half, we play a through ball here to uh, Makai Steven on the left hand side. Tried to go for some skills, you can see that he was just kind of jockeying, it was very difficult to to get past him, decided to go for the Rabona cross but ended up blocking uh, blocking his defender. Then uh, in the second half we go, yet again we find uh, Ezekiel Lavetsi, who there goes for the fake shot to a nice luck Roqueta, to a cross to Hulk, goes for the bicycle kick. <laughs> goes completely over the bar and I don't think I was using time finishing even though it looked like it because it obviously just went completely sky high because I feel that if you don't use time finishing and you hit those kind of volleys or um, or bicycle kicks they seem to just work way better or at least the chance of actually hitting one on target and scoring one is much higher than relying on time finishing that's my experience with it anyway because I've been using time finishing a little bit in division rivals and yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, then uh, yeah, in the 75th minute, you've seen this goal. I mean, honestly, Kepa, man. Like, this is not the first mistake you will see. Um, I'm not too sure if it's in this episode or also in the next episode. But um, yeah, he's definitely a goalkeeper I will not be using in the future because um, the impression he has made on me so far anyway is very, very bad. And uh, yeah, obviously the second goal also uh, had a deflection, but still... The way he, uh, he put it into his own net looked really stupid. But uh, yeah, we ended up losing that game, which was uh, fair enough. My opponent did create a lot of chances as well, but still kind of sucked the way uh, we conceded those goals. Uh, then moving on into uh, into the second game of this episode, we come against, I think, yet again, a Premier League team in, I think, the 4-2-3-1 uh, formation with the camps. Um, you can see it right there. Not the, not the best uh, Premier League side, but uh, a decent-looking one. But also a random Shakira there playing him uh, as a cam. And uh, my opponent starting off there with a volley from uh, from Vardy. Good save there from the goalkeeper. A few minutes later, played it on through here to uh, Alex Teixeira. Plays it on through to Mikai Steven. Fake Rabona to a drag back. I'm not too sure if I should have gone with the chip shot to decide to go for it. Because it obviously is an objective we, uh, we need to complete. But I think I just should have either just dribbled uh, through his defense. And then uh, maybe took a normal shot. But um, yeah. I, uh, I just did it too quickly, basically. Uh, in the second half, a very nice run here as well from uh, Makai Steven, where this shot uh, did hit the goalkeeper. Would have been uh, would have been a great goal to uh, to score, and also the first one, and also just the first skill goal in general. Uh, moving forward, seventy uh, third minute, another uh, big chance here with Teixeira hits uh, hits the defender there after a nice uh, scissor kick. That towards the end of the game, we got the ball here with Hulk play to uh, Teixeira. Go for the rainbow flick again. Then uh, his defender, I'm not too sure if it was him or the A high, passed it back to his goalkeeper. His goalkeeper passed it into the feet of Mascherano. And uh, yeah, we could simply just walk it into the net, basically. And that's how that game ended as well. Not the most interesting game. We did create some chances, though, where we probably could have scored some uh, decent goals from. But um, yeah, all the shots either went wide or uh, or the goalkeeper, goalkeeper saved them. Then uh, moving on into uh, the third game of the episode, where we uh, actually comp against a uh, Brazilian-looking side with also, I think, some five-star skillers. Um, he had uh, David Neves, there, also a new five-star skiller in uh, this year's game. Also Vinicius Jr., a player I still need to try out as well. Uh, there's still a bunch of uh, new five-star skillers that I uh, still haven't used yet. 
But um, yeah, moving on in this game, we uh, start off early with uh, Makai Stevens. Some great skills there where we picked it up with uh, Levetsi. Nice heel flick to a fake shot there inside. But yet again, the shot got blocked off. Then at uh, 20th minute, he plays it down the middle there to Pato. A nice one-two there with Taliska, who then goes for an outside foot shot and hits the post. Unlucky there for him. Uh, moving on into the second half, Pato there plays an overtop through ball to Rafinha. Weak foot volley. Uh, decent save there from Kepa. Then uh, minutes later, we play it on through here to the left-hand side to Botaka. Uh, one of the players I decided to sub on, I think it was for uh, for Lavetsi. And then we get a big chance here with Hulk. I just needed to put a little bit more power to that chip shot. And then uh, it would have been a goal and a uh, completed objective. But um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the goalkeeper managed to just get a touch onto it. And then 77th minute, just like in the previous game, a big mistake from Kepa. Although... I'm not too sure if it was like just his fault completely, but it just looks so stupid. Like one of the players attempted a scissor kick and Kepa just run forward. I didn't press uh, the Y button to bring up my goalkeeper at all, but still he came out and um, yeah, because of it, he was able to uh, to hit that rebound in fairly easy and uh, and win, uh, win himself the game basically. Now he had a lot of chances as well in this game, but still the way again we can see the goal was just... Was just very very stupid in my opinion. Um, yeah, moving forward, we uh, we go into uh, the final game of this episode. A lot of games in this episode, uh, which is something uh, that you guys actually wanted. So I'll try to uh, to do that, to do that for future episodes as well. But uh, we come against the team in the five at the back uh, formation, but also uh, El Sharawi there. Some uh, Champions League players. I can see from the stats that the first half, honestly, was one of the most boring halves I ever played. Not even myself or my opponent created uh, a chance or something. Like, it was just midfield play and nothing really interesting, basically. But then at the start of the second half, look at that for a uh, for a cross from Levetsi. One of the one of the crosses or one of the kind of assists I was uh, trying to get in uh, some of the previous episodes. And uh, we managed to get it first time this time. And uh, that means we complete a challenge straight away as well because uh, this is also a way to get sort of a fancy uh, fancy assist or a flare assist. And uh, it just looked amazing. Wish it would have been a bicycle kick or a scissor kick, but still looked very nice. And uh, yeah, great, uh, great uh, goal to score as well in this game and uh, get things going because the first half was just really boring. Um, now towards the end of this, uh, this game, we played a through ball here to Hulk. It goes for the rainbow flick to some sort of a chip volley. Uh, would have been nice to uh, to see that one go into the back of the net as well. Um, maybe complete another challenge in this game. I'm not too sure if I uh, if I had counted it. But anyway, you can see the final stats from the game. I think we have I think six games left. I'm not too sure. Yeah, you can see it right there. We have six games left in order to uh, to complete all the objectives. Uh, we still need to score a goal at Makai Steven and also and still need to score a skill goal. So. Uh, Really hope we can uh, we can do that soon. Hopefully in the next episode. Although we have completed a challenge so far, which is uh, which is a decent start, I think. It's not the perfect start, but we're uh, we're hopefully getting there. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and also make sure to hit the notification bell so you do not miss a single upload. Anyway, that's the end. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.